hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Remy for those that are new year and if you're new year that means you know you've not subscribed so just hit the subscribe button down below and join the family for my returning subscribers thank you thank you thank you so much for always coming back it actually means a lot to me and it just makes it easier for me to go ahead and create new and amazing videos for you guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to convert your basic pattern skirt piece into an a-line skirt piece so we cut this basic skirt pattern in the previous video if you are yet to see that i'll leave a link down below so you can go watch that but i'm going to be showing you in this video how to convert this to an a-line skirt pattern if you really like to see this then stay with me till the end to draft the A-line skirt, trace your front and back pattern to your preferred length on a new pattern paper. Once you're done tracing your pattern, on a new pattern paper, go, on, go ahead and transfer your lines, your yoke line, your hip line, and your dart to the new pattern paper. Once you're done tracing your basic skirt pattern onto fresh pattern paper, now it's time to work on this. So you need to extend this center dot line all the way to the end. After extending the dot line, go ahead and cut out your dots. out your dart you will slash this line that we made but slash it up to about one inch or one and a half inch before the dart point so don't slash it all the way make sure you leave about one inch in between so do the same for the front and the back skirt pattern Once you're done slashing this dart line, I'll go ahead and place my pattern. I'll place it on a new pattern paper. So I'll just place this close to the edge here and pin it down. After pinning this side down, I will spread this to my appropriate hem measurement. So you need to decide how wide you want your A-line to be for me. So there are two options here. You can try to close the dart completely. If you close the dart completely, it will be wider at the hem. But I don't want it this wide at the hem. So I will just measure one and a half inch. That is fine by me. So I'll measure one and a half inch and pin this down in place here. So after pinning this down, my dart has reduced. My dart isn't as wide as it was and the dart leg isn't as long as it was. So I can just go ahead and tape this at this point because this is the new position for my dart point. So I'll tape this here because my dart length has reduced. So my dart is going to start from here in this instance. So once you're done with this and you're satisfied, go ahead, measure this to be sure you have the right measurement. This is one and a half inches. Now you're going to take half of that one and a half inches, which is, which is three quarter of an inch. So you're going to extend your hemline from this point here by three quarter of an inch, which is half of what we have here. So I'll just mark three quarter of an inch here. So that is three quarter of an inch. So this point that we marked here, go ahead and connect this point here to your yoke line. If you have a longer ruler, this would be way easier, but because my ruler is short, I'm just going to use broken lines to extend this to be sure i'm happy with the shape before i go in with a permanent line 
So once I'm satisfied with the shape I have here, I'll just go ahead and use my French curve so it can blend in nicely. So after blending this up to this point, it's time to finish up our hem. So just go ahead and use your French curve to finish up the edge of this nicely. So this is our new hemline. You can go ahead now and cut out your new A-line pattern piece. There is just one last thing I need to do on the front piece. I need to mark my new dart positions. Once I mark my dart position, I can remove this. And you can actually keep this because you can use this to create even more interesting, uh, more interesting patterns. So I'll just keep this aside. And I'll go in with my marker to just make this line thicker. So this is it. I'll go ahead now and work on the back piece. So this is a line skirt. Front piece. This is half. So I'm just noting down that this is half of the pattern, not the full pattern. So you can either cut this on the fold or decide to cut it as two separate pieces so you can have like a gore effect for the skirt but we'll talk about all of that later on let me quickly work on the back so to work on the back we're going to do exactly the same thing we did with the front piece i'm going to pin this to the side over here and i'm going to extend this by one and a half inches it is very important that you extend it by the same so the patterns can just blend in and work well together so i'll pin this down here i'll measure half of this half of one and a half inch which is three quarter of an inch and mark it at this point here just like we did the front piece now connect this point here to the yoke line next it's time to finish up the hem going here with your ruler half of this I'll use my French cup to follow the natural curve that my hem has already formed. So I'll just go in this way. Once you're satisfied with the curve that you have down here, it's time to work on the dart. If you notice, our dart length and depth have reduced as well. So I'll just go ahead and tape this down. So I'll tape this down to the new dart position. I'll go in with my biro and ruler to mark the new dart legs. If you have a tracing wheel, that would actually be perfect for this, but I don't have that here, so I'm using this instead. And now I can go ahead and cut out my new back skirt piece. I'm going to keep this as well because you can form even really more interesting pieces with that going now to just mark my dart line my dart legs with a marker to make it clear and this is my back pattern for the a-line skirt this is half of the pattern and there is zip allowance here i'm just putting this here so i can remember one inch zip allowance is here just putting, noting it here that I have one inch seam allowance already, one inch zip allowance already. So this is my front piece and this is my back piece. The front A-line skirt and the back A-line skirt. So we've come to the end of this particular tutorial. I'm sure you guys can see just how easy it is to convert this to this. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert this basic a-line skirt pattern that we cut 
into a Qlet pattern. So if you like to see that, turn on your notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. And if you are still yet to subscribe at this point, please hit the subscribe button and join us. Come, come to this side. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys in the next video. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Love you all.